let's talk about preparing for our Alaska cruise trip because it's it's not just a cruise we're going on a cruise but we're doing some other things too now you guys know that <laughs> Uh, we are going to Alaska, so we're going on an Alaska cruise. By the time you guys are seeing this, we will be home. Uh, Mom will be home. I will not quite be home yet. Um, so I'll be going to a, getting ready to go to a wedding when you see this. Um, that, okay, you gonna help? So she's upset that I'm leaving, I think. Or maybe she's pleased and can't wait to get rid of me. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about, about our preparing for this trip. So we booked this cruise a year ago. Um, I did look it up to see like when we got the confirmation. We booked it a year ago. So we've been waiting for this for a long time. We booked our flights in November. And uh, Black Friday deals for flights aren't really a thing anymore but we did get a really good deal on our flights we are flying first class because of the deal we got on our flights correction we booked flights to vancouver and then home from anchorage in november we changed our flights about a month ago so i like to frequently check back to see if flights are like a better deal because sometimes uh, prices might go down seems like prices only go up now but sometimes you might get lucky or maybe they'll add like a more favorable flight time or maybe you'll find a flight that has fewer layovers so what we did was we changed our flight because originally we were supposed to leave Thursday afternoon which when I'm filming this that's tomorrow <laughs> um, so I'm filming this on Wednesday afternoon we were originally supposed to leave I think around 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday land in vancouver around two o'clock in the morning vancouver time sounds miserable but a month ago i looked to see if there were any like changes to flights and they had added a couple of flights so we ended up changing our flights so now we're leaving at 9 a.m on thursday morning i think we have like two and a half hours in seattle and then land in vancouver um in the afternoon i think like 3.30 I think is when we land so hope to be through customs um, and then maybe to our hotel and we can find a place for dinner on Thursday night but we'll have some daylight time in Vancouver on Thursday night we can go to sleep at a normal time normal time to you know Vancouver maybe adjust to the new time zone a little bit and then wake up Friday morning and have all day to explore in Vancouver on Friday so um, my point here is to talk about changing your flights, check flights, see if prices have gone down. We got lucky and we didn't have to pay any change fees, which is why we selected these new flights. So we get to go several hours earlier, layover is a better situation, and we get more time in Vancouver. So it's just a win-win-win and we didn't have to pay a change fee. So it was perfect. The next thing I wanted to talk about was like the other, like the media we have been consuming <laughs> to get ready for this trip because uh, I like to be prepared for new things. I like to watch YouTube videos about things before I go somewhere and I have found two channels that were really helpful uh, in trying to prepare for this trip. So I know nothing about Princess Cruise Line and I watched a bunch of cruise vlogs on Cruise Tips TV. I don't remember the girl's name but she did a 10 day Alaska cruise about five years ago on the same ship that we're gonna be on and I'm so excited to get to like see the ship in person now because she the way she showed the ship made it look like so much fun so I really enjoyed that and I'll link I don't know if it's a playlist but if there's a playlist I'll link the playlist to that cruise vlog series it is five years old but I think it's still wonderful and she was very informative and fun and engaging so if you're interested in that but that's that was something that really helped and then the other channel on YouTube that I've been watching that's been really helpful is let's go travel tips and I know her name is Allison and her husband's name is Gordon and they make so much content regarding like Princess Cruise Line Holland America they even talk about like carnival celebrity so it's a lot of like cruise news but she's really partial to princess I think and I found that really helpful one of the things that I learned was like just in the nick of time. So I, I learned this in the last couple of weeks. On the app, on the Princess app, you can see activities that are going to be happening throughout the sailing. 
in a, like in advance, which is nice, but you can like bookmark the activity unless the activity is full. Um, so a couple of the shows that are going to be on the ship have already been like fully bookmarked, so I can't bookmark them. Um, I thought that meant that we don't get to go to the show and I just had missed out and now, you know, we're just kind of out of luck. But what I learned from Allison is that it's more of like a bookmark. It's not a reservation. So you can still go to the show. You just need to show up on time and, you know, get in there. So um, I found that really helpful because I was really nervous. I was like, oh no, now we're not going to get to go to the show. So it was really helpful to get to learn that. So lots of helpful nuggets. Um, in there uh, from her and then just recently like within the last couple of weeks we received our medallions in the mail so we've done the like online check-in process on the app it took me a while because I got stuck in the part where trying to like upload a security photo the app wouldn't take it so we were stuck in the blue lane for the longest time which I think means once you get to the port there's still like more you have to do for the check-in process but um, just recently I was able to get our security photos uploaded and so our like we're in the green lane for the check-in now which is cool but then just a couple of days later so these had to be in the mail before then but just a couple of days later after I got our online check-in you know done complete and um, like our security photos uploaded we received our medallions in the mail so I have opened this I have played with it um, in here, one of the medallions is missing because I've already put it on the lanyard. This one is mom's. So it, it's, the medallion is like, um, the replacement to your, your cruise key card. Um, it's like the size of an air tag, like an Apple air tag, which is cool. Um, and it also functions sort of the same way that an Apple air tag does because you can track the, the medallion. So here's the medallion. Um, I'm really excited about this tool because I think this is what sets a princess apart. Like this technology is what sets princess apart from other cruise lines. Well, there are other things too, I'm sure, but this is like the big thing people talk about. So I'm really excited to use this because we can use the medallion to order essentially room service, but it is delivered to us wherever we are on the ship. So if we are sitting on the pool deck and we decide we want a cocktail, I think it's called Ocean Now, and we can order using our medallion on the app on our phone to like order a drink or food or something, and they will bring it to us wherever we are on the ship, even if we move, which is really exciting. So um, inside the box, and I did want to talk about this because I thought this was really cool. I didn't know uh, how this was going to go. I knew we were supposed to get these in the mail. Um, so the medallions are on the top, and then if you remove these... The next layer is the Princess Premium Medallion Accessory. So this is like the exclusive accessory. And um, I don't know how I feel about these. It's a clip. Um, everything that I saw online said that this was going to be waiting for us in our stateroom, but it was mailed to us. So it's like a blue metallic clip thing. You can clip it on your clothes. And the reason I have moms in the, in the lanyard is because... The lanyard clear clip thing actually um, has like tiny, teeny tiny little clips that hold the medallion in. And this blue clip accessory doesn't have any of that. The, the medallion just sort of fits in here. And I would be really nervous to take this on an excursion and come back without my medallion. So anyway, it comes with the, or we have the, pre the premium. We did prepay for the Prince's premium package. So that's why we have these accessories but then on the bottom layer is another like box that has the clear clip that I have this medallion in and the lanyard so inside of this box in here there is another like clear clip and inside of this box is another lanyard which I think is really cool um, I didn't know I didn't know what to expect from this, but when I opened up the box, I was really excited about it because I thought it was just going to be like the medallion because nobody's, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, maybe I haven't watched enough YouTube videos, but I don't think anybody's ever said when the medallion comes to your house, 
it comes with a lanyard. You don't have to pre-order an accessory because the lanyard is the accessory, I think. I don't know. Like, maybe we get the lanyard because we're prince we've got Princess Premium, but I would think that they would want you to have something to put it in. And yeah, no, this is not the most flattering thing. I don't really care if it's good looking as long as it's functional. The one problem I have with the lanyard is that it's not adjustable, so it's just like really, really long. So there's no way to make it shorter other than to like tie a knot in it, but I don't know. I'm not gonna do that probably, but we have our medallions and that's what's really important. Um, next I wanted to talk about like some of the immediate things. Um, so today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday and we are getting on the plane at 9 a.m. So we're leaving the house at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. So this morning I checked us in for our flights. That's done. So Alaska Airlines knows, knows we're coming. We're gonna be there. Um, I also did something to help expedite our process once we arrive in Vancouver. So Vancouver or Canada has the Arrive Can app, which is like a, like a pre-register your, or pre-declare your customs declaration, essentially. So um, it's a free app. It used to be required. I did look up the, the requirements for traveling to Canada. It's not required anymore, which is great, but I do think that it will save us some time. So I did that today. What else did I do? Oh, I backed up my phone. So one of the things I was thinking about a week ago is um, we should probably like try to clear up as much space as we can on these things. So like get rid of a bunch of old pictures and you know, try to delete off everything that's not necessary because I'm hoping to fill it up with pictures of whales. Um, so I wanted to clear it off, but I also want to back it up. So if something happens, God forbid something happens, but if something happens, at least I'll have like a recent backup of my phone because I don't have the automatic backup turned on. I back mine up to my computer because I prefer it that way. So that's how I do mine. But anyway, I did that this morning. I've also been charging all of my camera batteries. So I'm ready to go. I'm gonna try to vlog everything and save it all for a video or lots of videos. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait for tomorrow morning. I have my packing list ready. I have clothes gathered. Um, I have suitcases out, but I have not packed yet. So I'm gonna do that tonight. That's the plan. I'm going to actually put everything in the suitcases tonight. And I did say suitcases. I'm gonna take two, probably, just because I worry about weight. I wanna bring some souvenirs home. I wanna have space. I'm gonna be gone about three weeks. So I wanna have everything that I need instead of trying to like plan to buy stuff when I get there. But um, also we get two free check bags. I'm not gonna worry about overpacking. I know that that is like an unpopular opinion. I would rather have all of the things that I think I might want or need then get there and wish that I had brought something that I had taken out of my suitcase. So that's what I need to do tonight. Um, oh, and I printed our luggage tags this morning. So I did check in to our flights, but then I also printed the luggage tags for the cruise ship. So um, I know that when we get to the airport tomorrow, we'll have like luggage tags that we'll have to put on our bags once you know, we get to the airport to get on the plane, but we're gonna have to have luggage tags to get on the cruise ship on Saturday and I'm not gonna have access to a printer between now and then so um, I did print those off today and I think they're ready so I think I'm ready I think that's all I wanted to talk about today um, I know like I have I'll, I'll be honest I have filmed this video now three times because things keep changing and so I wanted I didn't want to wait to the last minute but um, I kind of decided that before I, went, I filmed it again, I wanted to wait until the very last minute to film this just because there's lots of updates, lots of things like the Arrive Can. Um, I had no idea that that was something I wanted to do until yesterday. So um, I think we're ready to go, except for packing. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna end this video here and the next thing you see will be the packing video um, and then I think we have a surprise video from my mom because uh, we did something the other day that I think I want to share with you before we really get into the travel day 
you know, and then the cruise vlogs. So I think packing video tomorrow and then surprise video from mom the next day. But I'm really excited. Thank you all for coming along with me. And um, let me know if you have any questions about the pre preparing for a princess cruise. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. You guys will see me in another video tomorrow. Bye.